Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I am going to show you how to make this card and isn't it spectacular? Oh my gosh, this is from the Snowflake Sentiments bundle and there's a whole stamp set involved and these beautiful dies. I absolutely love this. I also have another card that I made that I'll show you at the end and explain things. And I've got a little treat favor to go with this. So let's get started so I can show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is tell you all the dimensions. And all of these can be found on my blog. Address is right here. And this is for October 27th so if you go to my blog and go over to the archives if it's like later when you're looking for it and go to October you're gonna find this project so we have a piece of our glimmer paper that is a half inch by five and a half just a scrap of whisper white a scrap of glimmer paper and then we're using Christmas around the world and I will show this to you quick this is gorgeous paper. It's all double-sided. It's in our holiday mini catalog. You get this whole pack, two of each pattern for $11. And of course it's 12 by 12. You've seen me use this before. It's so fun and festive for the holidays. Isn't this just gorgeous? So I'm going to be using two different patterns in here. I'm using the gray snowflakes and the soft sky polka dots. This piece is two and a quarter by five and a half. This one is two by five and a half. And then we have the layer that we're gonna die cut the snowflakes in is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I have a piece of our whisper white thick cardstock, and this is seven by five and a half, and it's scored at two and three quarters. So I'm just going to go ahead and burnish that edge right away because this is our card base. Oh, and don't forget, I've got an envelope here to make beautiful too. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in the Snowflake Sentiments and show this to you. This is a bundle together, so of course if you buy both of them you get a 10% discount. This has some absolutely gorgeous greetings in it. It has some snowflakes here, a to and a from, and also this little swirly deal that's really cute. And the season's greetings, look how big that is. It's awesome. I love big greetings because they can really make a card pop. And then we have the swirly snowflake thinlets. And this is the one that does the three snowflakes in a row. We have two little snowflakes. There's one right inside here. So we've got two snowflakes here. This cute little swirly deal. A little tag, and I'll show you all of these in a, the other card that I made when we get done making this card. A strip of polka dots, and then this, this is very cool. So once you cut out your snowflakes, you can also lay this down and cut that out or cut a layer out to go behind them and it has all these polka dots in it. And again, I'll show you a card that I made with this. It, I was just like, wow, this is this rocks. Okay, so for the purpose of this first card, we're gonna use the snowflakes and the swirly. So I am going to grab my scrap of glimmer paper and I'm gonna run this through the Big Shot and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm gonna put it on the edge so that my snowflakes are going this way. And with the size of this piece of cardstock, if you're gonna recreate this, you can leave it about, I'd say, like maybe a little more than an eighth of an inch off the edge here. Run that through your big shot. So I'll be right back. Oh, here's this piece. I'll die cut these and I'll be right back. Okay, I have this die cut. I'm gonna leave this on here. I'm gonna leave the die on here because it works better when you're using your Big Shot brush to leave that right on there. You can be a little more aggressive with it than if you just had bare cardstock here. And I have to tell you, I was shocked because I thought, oh, this little die is gonna be a nightmare. I'm gonna be poking things out all over the place. But it literally, everything came right off just like this. I was shocked. There's just a few little things to poke out. 
leave that die on your cardstock layer so that you can really be aggressive. And then the other thing I was shocked about, there's nothing stuck in my die. So I do not have to sit and poke out everything out of this die. So I'm very impressed with this thinlet set. So I am going to, now I'm gonna do this and I'm going to be a little more delicate, not as aggressive, and pop out the rest of these little pieces that are in my snowflake decoration. Okay, there we go. Do you like the way that I leave my die cut brush right in the box? It works out really good for me. So the box that it comes in, just leave it right in there. It'll catch all your little pieces so you don't make a big mess all over. Here's that little swirly thing that I die cut. I don't know what you call it, but it's cute. All right, back to our card. Hang on, I see one little, one little piece that didn't come out of there. There we go. All right, we are ready to make our card. Here's our card base. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to adhere this to the inside of my card. And this is just our pretty snowflakes. This is a basic gray base on this designer series paper and then soft sky and a kind of a lighter gray. Almost looks white, but it's just a lighter gray. We're gonna get this all glued in here. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping on this. I'm gonna bring that in right away. The colors that I'm using for my ink are basic gray and soft sky. So I'm just gonna follow along those patterns. And on the inside of my card, I am going to stamp this, may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy. Using my basic gray there. There we go. And then I'm coming in with the three snowflakes. And I'm just gonna stamp that at the top and the bottom. Isn't that pretty? Just a pretty touch for the inside of your card. This piece, I've got one more thing to do here. I am gonna do something different than the card that I showed you, and then I'll show them both to you and you can let me know what you think. I'm going to take the snowflake and I'm gonna stamp it in the basic gray ink and I'm gonna stamp this on my designer paper. And I think this is just a cool way to use designer paper is you can stamp over those patterns that are very subtle, like just these little washed out white polka dots. It's a great way to add interest to your card. Here is our Whisper White scrap, and I'm going to use my basic gray and stamp my greeting. And I chose my pretty label punch to punch this out. I always wanna call it the cloud punch because it looks like a cloud to me. But it's, it's very pretty, it's fluffy, like a cloud. And I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back of this. Now, I need to find that swirly. What did I do with it? Here it is. I'm gonna put this right on the back and I'm going to add it right to the back here. Whoops, you know what? I wanna do one other thing before I go there. I'm gonna put some little snowflakes right on my greeting. Yay, I like that. And now I'm ready for dimensionals. So I'm just gonna line this up so I can see what's going on with it. And I kinda want it to layer like this. Keep that right here. I don't know if you can hear the coughing in the other room, but my husband is in there with his granddaughter. <laughs> We're babysitting and she is not feeling well. I feel so bad for her. Okay, so that may be a little excessive on the dimensionals, but you know, <laughs> they're mine. I can use as many as I want. Okay, here we go. We are going to, oh, I forgot my strip. We're gonna glue this to the edge of our white, just like this. 
And I love that little bit of glimmer paper that's gonna peek out from under the edge of our snowflakes. And then here comes our snowflakes. I'm just gonna line that right up with the edge of the front of my card. Oh my gosh, isn't that just pretty? And then I've got this layer. This back is really colorful and fun too. I'm gonna center it, it's a little bit smaller and I see that I made it just a little bit too long. Do you guys do that too? It's so hard to cut everything so precise. That's why we have scissors, is so we can come in here and trim these off. And it's not a big deal, right? And now, oh, did you guys notice I got my nails done today? I am so happy, they were just horrid. And I thought, oh, I need to make a video. I cannot do a video with these horrible nails because I owe it to you guys not to have to look at all that nonsense. Here comes our greeting. Oh, I love, love, love this. And then I've got this little bow with our silver edged ribbon. And I use my bow jig to make that, you know, the bow tire thing that I always use. So I'm gonna take a mini glue dot here and I'm gonna stick that right on the bottom and it goes along with our silver, mm, delicious. Last but not least is our envelope. And I like to do I like to do this with my envelopes. I'm just going to take a piece of typing white paper and lay it right under here because I am going to stamp up the back flap with snowflakes. And you're just going to make sure you're turning them around so they don't look all uniform. Very random. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then, because I can't stop myself. I'm gonna put one right there <laughs> because, well, why not? Okay, here is our beautiful card. You saw me make it in just minutes. It is absolutely delicious looking. Let me bring in the other one that I made. Here's the other one. Which one do you like better? Do you like this one with the gray snowflakes on it or do you like the subtle snowflakes just stamped in soft sky on the soft sky background? And I use soft sky on here. So that this is very, you know, not very, but it's pretty different. I think they're both absolutely gorgeous. Now let me show you some other things. If you guys follow me, you saw that I made this container um, when I was doing my reuse, repurpose, remember I made some fall containers and then I made one Christmas container. This is the Christmas container that is going to match perfectly when I give my gift with this particular card. Here are our, our foil snowflakes. How many do you get in a pack? I think 24. So you get 12 silver ones and 12 gold ones. And then what's really cool about these, and that's what I use right here, by the way. Why am I telling you about this? And look, I stamped the gray snowflake all over that same designer series paper that I did on this one. But I'm telling you this because you can turn these over and they are plain and you can sponge color on these and make your snowflakes any color you want. These are just the coolest embellishment. I have another card that I made with those, and isn't this pretty? Same stamp set, I used the um, Snowflake Sentiments and some rhinestones here, and I think this is Pool Party. Yep, it's Pool Party, not Soft Sky. But this is, again, a beautiful card using the Snowflake. Foil Snowflakes, they're called. Is that what they're called? Yep, Foil Snowflakes. Whew. And then I got this other card that I made when I was horsing around with all of these dies. Let me get some of the stuff out of the way so I can show you. Whoops, there went a die, hang on. Oh, don't you hate it when you lose stuff? Okay, here we go. So we use this one. We use this little swirly thing. Then we have this one and two snowflakes and then this little thing that makes a tag and I'm gonna show that to you right now. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, I love this. I just love it, love it, love it. 
This little die right here made this cute little tag. It's scored in the middle. It pokes out the holes for you to thread ribbon through. And I stamped the two in the from in here, and that comes in this stamp set. And then here's our snowflakes again. And see this right back here? That's what this die does. Isn't that gorgeous? And then these are just polka dots. You can see the polka dots die cut right through there so the gray is showing through on the underneath. And then this little snowflake is from this die right here. So you've got two little snowflake dies in here. You can cut these apart and use them for things. You've got this thing that cuts out that edge. Oh my gosh. This bundle is, I think, my favorite because it is so elegant and delicate and beautiful. Let me move this out of the way. Here we go. We've got these cards with my beautiful little envelope. Here's the one that I did in gray. Here's the one using the foil snowflake. And we have my container. And by the way, I've had a bunch of people asking me if they could get the recipe for my homemade caramels that I said I'm going to put in this container as a gift. I will post that on my blog with this video. So you're looking for October 27th. I will give you my homemade caramel recipe. They are to die for, but let me warn you, be ready to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap because it makes a whole pan and it feels like you're wrapping 500 pieces of caramels. They're a lot of work, but they're to die for and everybody loves them. It's one of my biggest requested candies that I make every year. So here is a whole beautiful little set using the Snowflake Sentiments Bundle that is shown on page 35 in the holiday catalog. And they've got some other really cute ideas here too. Look at this package. They use that to wrap a belly band around this box. That is so, mm, love it. All right, you guys, if you need to get your hands on this bundle, I would love to earn your business. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, please consider placing an order from me. That keeps these free videos coming out to everybody. You can hop on over to my blog, astampabub.com. You'll find all the details for this and there's ordering links on there. So you can just click on the Snowflake Sentiments. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. When you place an order with me, I will send you a handmade thank you card in appreciation. And I also have a VIP group for my customers that place orders. This is an exclusive group where I share exclusive projects you will not see on my blog or any place else on the internet, only on this VIP group. So it's pretty cool. And you can get into that VIP group by placing an order. So if you need any supplies and you don't have a demonstrator, hop on over to my store. If you don't have the current catalogs, I would be happy to send them to you. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. I always appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. So I don't know where you're located, but here in Wisconsin, it's supposed to get pretty chilly this weekend. So I hope you all stay warm and enjoy the fall weather. Thanks again. Bye-bye.